right, YouTube. What's up, people? Okay, so... <clears throat> last night, he did not get to try the nasty one. And last night, he bought me two different types. So, I saved the other one because it was actually in a four-pack. Um, so, I actually saved it to review with him. It is a Rita's Rose Spritz White Peach. Rosé. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Fancy. Rosé. White Peach. Sparkling rosé cocktail so that's what it is i really hope this is going to be better than the coconut chip <laughs> that one was nasty it's going to be sparkling water so i'm going to hate it you know what i'm saying yep sparkling water almost tastes like um a four loco ish type okay it's not as bad as i thought it would be it kind of tastes like white wine. It's not bad as it's not to be at all. Because it's sparkling like sparkling wine, not sparkling water. <laughs> well, I thought it was like those stupid new sparkling water things they have that have alcohol in them. Everybody's loving them. I don't, okay. I can't do like Perrier and stuff like that. So it tastes like a white wine on the semi-sweet side, barely sweet. On the dry side, it is very crisp. That's good. It's almost like a cider. If you've ever had, uh, like, forgot, not Reds, because Reds is a smooth cider, but the crisp cider that I had most recently was, um, I forget what brand <laughs> we tried. That was the uh, <coughs> East Ciders. I was East like, ciders. It, I was like, this is a they on a scale orange. of one to ten of sweetness. Ten being like um. Too late. No, ten being like Manischewitz sweet. That's oh. my favorite go-to. This would be like a six to seven, maybe a six and a half, seven. Straight up, I would drink it three, four times a year. I would be like, hey. What Manischewitz or this? This. Oh. I'd be like, hey, we should get some of those things. <laughs> That's because you don't like sweet things. But I love peach, and it, it's very peachy. That part's good. I don't like peach either, but I actually like how tolerable this uh -huh. peach is. It's 6.0% alcohol by volume. And um, it's a white peach. White peach. But yeah, it's almost like a, a little bit stronger than an arbor mist. And sparkling. <laughs> All right, um, we also got our Amazon today, one of our packages. So we will actually, instead of just doing a whole separate video, I'll go ahead and open that now. <coughs> he never gets to open them with me anyway. See what we got and see how it looks. You dulled my knife. I didn't dull your knife. Your knife just got dull from being a knife. Being used. Alright, so first item is Aveeno, stay the moisturized model. Got some Aveeno, I've never tried it, let's see how it smells, wait, wait, we're ahead of you. I'll see what this is. Oh, this smells really good too, this smells like, um, if you've ever tried that hand wash, uh, the milk and honey. That's what it smells like. It doesn't say that that's what scent it is. It says oat. It says Avena Sativa. Sunflower. Cannabis Sativa. <laughs> no. But yeah, it smells really good. Okay. It. Second item, I'll open the one, is Scout Master shampoo brush. I actually had one of these a while back and it's been a while and I think the other one got broke. So I wanted to get a new one. I love these because when you're showering, just go on and brush those singles out while you're in the shower and it's going to be hard to lose it because it ain't going to break off till it gets old. <laughs> Which the other one lasted me over 10 years because I had it before I met my husband. So that's our new shower brush. 
next item. I actually got this. I was curious what it was going to look like because not all board brushes are the same. Is that for me? Yes. It's for you. <laughs> Your other one was getting too it's, Yeah, it's bad. But uh, not all brushes are the same. Some are soft board brushes. Some are wide. Some are short. This is a big one it looks like. The other one is usually about this. Sh the whole brush is about from here to here. And uh, this one is actually pretty wide. It's a little softer than your other one but um it's gonna do the job Fill it. you got baby thin hair so your hair is not as thick and harsh as mine yeah I like that I have to have a hard brush well here's a little baggie to go with it do you need a baggie it's the <laughs> shown body 100% blow brush okay very gentle on air while firm enough to form shape. Next item is 72 by 84 extra long shower curtain. Man, I've been needing a shower curtain too. So I was going to wait and see what I could find online and sure enough I found one extra long. Side I note, I'm six foot six tall. So like most curtains, our, our curtain is actually like right here on me. So it's really, really tall, and I really like it because most showers, like my head's up over here, like in most bathroom stalls, or like the divider in the urinals is like in my chest. Like everything's in restrooms is always real low, and our shower thing's actually high. Okay. But it's a curse. It's a blessing and a curse because it's really hard to find a curtain long enough. <laughs> And occasionally you might find one at Home Depot, but some rooms are out. All right. Or you do like I did, and you buy the shower stall one. And it's for the little bitty <laughs> single shower stall. Yeah. It's perfectly long enough. Alright, last item is... I have been looking for one of these. They used to sell them at Walmart. I can't find it anymore. Walmart has bath mats. Okay, but this one... I don't know if you can see if it'll show up. This one's a little different. It um, Spiky. has hairs on it. These silicone hairs that help for some reason. Like the normal bath mats have bubbles. You can still slip on bubbles. So far, this has been the only mat that I used to have in the Where's past. The the and uh, uh, the bubbles are suction cups underneath. Yeah, I know. But the top, this is the only one I've ever had. Oh, you're talking about the ones that has a. Yeah, you know how they okay, have. Gotcha. And yeah, I yeah. still slip on those. But this was probably my most favorite mat because the hairs not only are better at helping you from not to slip but they wash your feet that's the whole purpose of them you're like supposed to run your foot across it and these mats is a little softer so it kind of moves with you but this one's a little longer than the last mat that we had the last one was like about about right there quick but so i'm not trying to poop on your parade but i feel like that thing is going to get dirty really fast mm -mm. Because of all the hairs and stuff in it. We had one. I of think these. that scum and stuff is going to build up, so you're going to have to clean it. When I met you, stuff. I had my own, and uh, I brought it to our apartment, and I used to use it until it got. Oh, whoa, confused. it's perforated. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Scum won't build up that bad. So there's that. No, I didn't know that there were holes right here. Yeah. So under the spiky things, you can kind of stick my finger through one. No, don't. You'll rip it. No, I'm saying you can kind of see, like, it's got holes. It's perforated. It can breathe, in other words. I feel better about it now. <laughs> I like it because I can wash my feet with it. I like how it feels. and scrub for the days that I walk barefoot. And so far, that's the only one that I never really slipped much on. Because when you're big and you got a broad stance... And you stand like a bulldog, <laughs> kind of, which is how fat people stand. Anyway, uh, your legs, when the further they are, the more chance you got to, you know, slipping. Especially when someone showers before you and leaves a ton of conditioner in the floor. We won't name names, but his name runs with Schmeichel. But anyway, <clears throat> so that was uh, that was our unboxing of our new items. Um, I've already tried the mat before, so I can tell you I like it definitely already. Uh, the Aveeno smells wonderful. I've not tried this flavor before or this specific type before, but I've 
I've liked Avino in the past, so I'm sure I'll love it. And the brush, I've tried one of them before. They're wonderful. If you're somebody who has long hair from wavy to curly and you hate fighting tangles and you hate brushing your hair, buy one of those shower brushes, brush your hair in the shower. It's a lie. And then put your hair up. And, and I'm telling you, don't wait till after you shower to brush your hair. It's a lie. Brush it before. You have curly hair, but you don't know how to brush your hair. It stays knotted up, and that thing doesn't do anything but take you don't know how to the use knots it. that are already here. I wear a hard hat all day. Okay. And a bandana. First of so all, my hair gets mad this and, dude, and naughty. When he brushes his hair, he starts up here for some reason. You're supposed to start down here. If you don't want tangles, do it the normal way. Well, I've already brushed my hair since so I started. Right yeah, now. but you at any time, like when you brush my hair to trim it, he brushed my hair to trim it the other day. But when you brush my hair to trim it, you started at the top. It had already been my... brushed. I was no, just I out. had not well, it brushed, brushed it. Anyway, <laughs> don't rip your hair out. Start at the bottom. That's all. Mama K, Sam Squatch. On a scale of one to ten, though, what did you rate it? For a girly thing? Mm -hmm. Or for a beer? For a girly thing. For a girly thing? Out of all the malts you've had. Uh, for a girly thing, I would give it like a 6.83. What? Stupid. You're not just limited to the number 6. I know. <laughs> or 7. I know. There's decimals. It's a 6.83. Okay. I give it a 6.5. <laughs> Because it does though. If it's a six point eight three, someone be like, "Well, it's a seven. I don't want to say it's a seven. I can't give it a seven because I can think of something that would be better, but I don't want to say a six because that would be better than some things that are a six. It's a six point eight three. I can't. Give it's it, a high six. I can't give it a seven because it leaves a dry aftertaste. And I'm cool with the dry aftertaste. I like dry wine. It sucks the moisture out, but I guess that's part of the white wine or whatever. It's the rosé. I don't think I've ever had rosé. It now. I've heard of it. You're but. it now. <laughs> anyway, thank y'all guys for watching. Gotta go now. We'll holler at you later. Bye.